Hi, Danielle here from BCO SciComm team and Francis from our education team. And we're Hi there. going through some stuff we can do at home. At Clear yeah. In my home. So, so Francis, okay. what are we going to get up to today? Okay, so Danielle, you know that Dark Skies Week is coming up. So yes. we have a couple of activities that you can do at home about Dark Skies Week, about the night sky, about constellations. Now, we're enjoying the lovely stretch in the evening, so it's later and later and later before it gets dark. So That's we're right. going to make a couple of at-home versions of the night sky so that we don't have to wait for it to be dark. So making our own sky at home. Our own sky, our own yes. sky. This is completely up to ourselves what we want our sky to look like. This is a, such a creative activity. It a couple of pretty straightforward things. Okay. So I gave you that list the other day, so we should have some kind of box. Yes. Size depends on the type of light that you're going to be having inside the box. So okay. we need some kind of light source that's going to be our source source of starlight. It could be okay. it could be a mobile phone. It could be one of those battery rechargers. Gotcha. You've got it and it gives out light. It's got to fit in the box. So I think you've got a tea box. Yeah, and I've just got a, uh, I got two different boxes here, two different sizes we can try out. Um, exactly. And a torch from a bike, a bike torch. Yeah. And, uh, Any kind of like torch, here. and if your first torch doesn't work, try another one. Okay. If it doesn't work, try another one. Then to make our stars, we're going to use a bit of tin foil and poke some holes in it. If you poke a bigger hole, well, does that make a brighter star? If you poke a tiny hole, does that make a tiny star? So you need something to poke with. Okay, I've got okay. options, so we'll try it out because I've got a fork that's got a little wonky part on it. So I thought, okay, we'll yeah. and then uh, I got a pen here, so we'll see if that works. Yeah, and I've got another pen here, and I've got a little pointy needle, literally what you have. If you have a skewer, if you have, I don't know, whatever you got, if you figure that you can make a hole with it, I'd say fingers are probably going to be too big. Okay. The beauty of this is try it and see what you got. Now, if you have an idea of a particular star pattern that you want to make in your tin foil, hey, go for it. A good place to find a couple of those, I found a couple that we should. So if we just have a quick look here, here is a draw your own constellation picture. You can find this on spaceweek.ie. And this lets you choose your own pattern and maybe reproduce it in the tinfoil. Yeah, and that's cool because they're all uh, constellations that we can see here from court. Too. Yeah. So this one, you know, the, the plow is a saucepan, but it could be also your own style. If you have a slightly bigger version of the sky, this is an SRO resource that shows all the constellations that are visible at the early part of the evening at this time of year. And you can see, you can join and make, but if you want to create your own completely constellations, hey, go for it. So Danielle, yeah. you're gonna need to stab into your tin foil. Okay. So just whatever shape tin foil you need to go over the top of the box you have. Okay. Tin foil is so... pretty easy to rip. So open up your box, figure out what your top is, and then you need tin foil to cover that up. Okay, so if we're gonna do, if I use this one, this one's the smaller one first, so I'm gonna try that one, see how it Yeah, goes. try them both. Do I need just enough to fit over that then? Yeah, need to cover it up. If you have a bit more, hey, not a problem. If you don't have enough, then the light will come out and you won't have starlight, you'll have moonlight. Ah. Okay, so. And pretty much any tin foil will work. It doesn't have to be really thick tin foil or really thin. Oh. <laughs> there 
there you go. Okay, tinfoil can be tricky, so there you go. <laughs> be the most difficult part of this activity, ripping off your tinfoil. Does it matter if it's the shiny side or the not? Try it. Okay? Try it. So just, do I cover it over like I would? Yep, cover it over because the tinfoil will lift on and off pretty easily. And then try poking some holes. All right. So, oh, I forgot. I also have a pin. I have like um, a pin from my sewing kit. So I'll try okay. that. That's our, my smallest one. Yeah. So, so right, let's go for a constellation then. Hole, the light from inside the box is going to be able to come. So that's going to be your star. Actually, yeah, the pin. I thought I wasn't even going to be able to see the pin, the hole of a pin on the tinfoil, but actually it's a pretty decent size. And this is one of those things that you, you need to try it to see how it's going to work. If you try it with a really pokey big pen, then you may find that your star is just so bright. Yeah. But Try a few different sizes and see what seems to work for you. Okay, so try different sizes now? Yeah, try a couple of sizes as well. Okay, so try the pen next. Oop, that was a really big hole. Okay. Yeah. So like the tip of the pen is not too bad, but I actually it just the whole pen actually went through the first. Well, that's it. But then what we'll do is we'll stick our light source inside and see what our stars look like. The idea okay. is that we're showing our own version of the night sky, our own light source, and these little starlight holes are going to have to shine up for us to be able to look at them. Now, we're in the daytime, so that's the next bit that's a little bit tricky, is yeah. how do we get somewhere dark enough for us to be able to see that? So I'm going to say, Danielle, pop your light source in there, whatever okay. you're using for a light, Okay, first, and you want some of the light to kind of vaguely go up, but don't panic, just stick it in there and see how it works. Okay, and it may be that if you hold your hand above it, you'll get the starlight on your hand. Okay, so yeah, it could be a bit tricky just because of all the light in here. Yeah, so then it becomes, wherever you're doing this yourself at home, where is a reasonably dark place that you can try set this up and try have a look? Is yeah. it better next to the sofa, against a wall? Are we going to go find a space under a table and have a look? Can we bring out a sheet or a blanket and make sort of a light tent that we can explore? Do we want to go into a cupboard? I've got a blanket. I'll try a blanket. Okay. Let's just see if this works since I have it right here. Definitely darker. Oh, I can definitely see more stars for sure. Wait. There we go. So we're looking for those starlight to be lighting up, up around, coming out of the box, and light up. And that's making our little model night sky. Okay. And it's completely up to you how you make this and what it looks like. You can even create your own constellation and make up your own story about the exciting pop in the sky and what was cooked in it. And is there, you know, make up your own version of the night sky. Okay. So that's our first part is to make a night sky version. Very cool. Well, now that I have my own little planetarium, I'm definitely going to find some dark spots and experiment myself here, Francis. Thanks so much. Brilliant. <laughs> Thanks, Francis. Thank you so much. And check out our website for more details. We'll have links for teacher resources and other things that you can check out while you're at home and looking for new activities.